Okay, this is uh, St. Catherine's Dock. <clears throat> As you can see, I'll head this way. Been a dock here since 11:25. named after St. Catherine by the Tower, which was a hospital in this area. As you can see now, it's all big yachts and what have you. In the early 1800s, it was made a commercial dock. It took three years to build it done by a civil engineer by the name of Thomas Telford so I bet this was just a bustling bustling place back then it's actually three docks there's one over there there's this one right here and then there's one around the back side of that it was called the ivory house one can only imagine why it was called that so there's three bridges here You've got the Black Bridge, which is right there, separates this main dock from that dock. Then you've got the uh, Red Bridge. Seriously, folks, that's what it's called. That's the Red Bridge. And then you've got the Blue Bridge right there. And that separates the uh, this dock from that dock over there. So, and over here, we walk over the red bridge this is the lock that any of these boats that are inside St. Catherine's Docks if they want to enter the Thames River this is where they have to uh, go through and these bridges are much like the Tower of London Bridge they both sides pivot up and there's the seam right there so it's pretty cool St. Catherine's Dock. There's an old crane which no doubt was used in the air in the period. It's got its one ton. I guess that's how they certified that's what it could carry. Give it a one ton weight to lift. So very cool. St. Catherine's Dock. And there's your history snippet for the day. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye. I couldn't resist it. Here's a close up of that crane. Jib, whatever you want to call it. Very cool. I doubt it's in its original location. But anyway. Okay. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.